This is Nadine with the five things you need to know. Idalia, Jonasberg, Mitch McConnell, Russia, and cannabis. Idalia is now a tropical storm moving offshore from South Carolina after lushing Florida's Gulf Coast as a powerful Category 3 hurricane Wednesday. It's the strongest storm to make landfall in Florida's Big Bend region. The nook between the Panhandle and Peninsula in more than 125 years. Idalia has also battered parts of southeast Georgia and the Carolinas, flooding coastal areas with over 9 inches of rain and causing widespread power outages. At least 73 people have died and dozens more were injured after a fire tore through a five-story building overnight in central Georgia while many people were sleeping inside. The building housed hundreds of informal settlements, according to a spokesperson for the city's emergency services. Local authorities said the apartments in the building intended to house up to three people were partitioned into areas to accommodate multiple people. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell appeared to freeze for about 30 seconds on Wednesday while speaking with reporters after a speech in Covington, Kentucky. The incident is similar to an episode McConnell experienced at the U.S. Capitol last month and he's raising additional questions about the fitness of the 81-year-old to lead the Senate Republican Caucus. Russia destroyed a drone approaching Moscow today, the city's mayor said a day after the country was hit with its biggest drone assault since in Ukraine war begun. Most of Wednesday's attacks on multiple regions were thwarted and no casualties were reported, Russian officials said. However, Ukraine has increasingly been emboldened to hit strategic target inside Russia by air in recent weeks, setting up a new phase of the conflict. A senior officials at the Department of Health and Human Services has called for easing restrictions on marijuana by reclassifying it as a Schedule Three substance in a letter to the Drug Enforcement Administration. The DEA is now initiating a review of the drug, which is uh, currently classified as a Schedule One controlled substance meant for the most dangerous substances, including heroin and LSD. Last year, President Joe Biden urged a review of how marijuana is scheduled under federal law. The letter this week with the recommendation from HHS is one step in that overall process. And those are your five things.